What's up everyone, it's Trevor, and in this video, I want to talk to you guys about the DAT. It is a huge five hour long intimidating test that every single pre-dental student has to take in order to even apply to dental school. And because it's the one number that can compare you to everyone across the nation, it definitely deserves all the time and energy and focus that you can put into it. So my first recommendation would be to, if you can, take all the time that you need to prepare for it without taking any other classes. And I know that seems hard and you might have to have a couple semesters before that or after that with a few more credits than you, than you normally would. But if you can score even just one or two points higher on the DAT, it will get you into that stronger, better school that will benefit your career years and years down the road. Okay guys, tip number two is to make a study schedule. I know every person is different and it's gonna take you a certain amount of time to get ready and feel confident to take the test and that's gonna be different from your friend that's gonna take it. So find out however long you have and make a schedule for it. I'll link the one that I follow down below. I think it was a 10 week program, but whatever you do, the most important thing is when you sit down at your desk ready to study, you have to know all the subjects that you're gonna be doing, be covering that day. So one hour is gonna be dedicated to OCHEM. The next hour is gonna be dedicated to biology. The next hour uh, could be QR, but whatever it is, it needs you you need to know because if you sit down and you don't have a plan or structure set up you are going to be overwhelmed instantly by the amount of material that is out there to know and after you follow your uh, schedule for a few weeks then you can go back and see the weak points that you have and kind of customize um, your schedule going forward so if you need to study for OCHEM longer than you do uh, biology, then you can put, you can just put more hours into it. Okay guys, tip number three is to use flashcards. Because studying for the DAT takes such a long time, up to two or three months, some of the things that you study at the very beginning are going to be easily forgotten when you have a question, you know, a month or two months down the road. And so the, e the only way that I found to retain as much information as possible and to not lose any of that knowledge is to make flashcards. So every night before I would go to bed, I would uh, have my huge stack of about 500 flashcards with about five points on each card. And I would just go over them for only 10 minutes. And I'm not kidding, I think I saw a one to two point improvement in my practice scores after I started doing that. And so while you're studying, every time you guys come across something that is just not sticking in your brain or a formula, a new formula in QR or a trend in the periodic table that you want to remember, just write it down and save it for later. And when you come across it again in a week, you're going to be able to have that constantly be in your brain. And on test day, you'll be able to recall a ton of information. Okay, tip number four is to simulate test conditions as much as possible. Uh, so the first three weeks, I don't think you should take any practice tests. Maybe the first day, take one test to kind of get a, a baseline, but most people do terrible on that. But that's just to see how much you can improve um, as you keep studying. But so after that first three weeks, you need to be at least doing one practice test a week. I did it every Saturday was I woke up, took a practice test. I think it took about four hours and then um, I would take a long break. And then later that night, I would go back and study everything that I got wrong. And as the as your test date gets closer and closer, you want to be taking more and more practice tests to be getting used to how fast you need to answer questions so you don't run out of time and it doesn't stress you out when you see that clock on the uh, in the corner of the computer screen start ticking down. And two, you need to train yourself to be able to focus for five hours. I mean, that's definitely not normal to do. And so if you can be used to taking practice tests and be used to the test conditions, when you're actually taking the real thing, it's gonna feel like you're just taking another practice test and it's gonna have it make it be a lot less stressful and you're gonna be able to get a better score. Okay, so tip number five is going to be focus on your weaknesses. I don't know why, but it's a bad habit that a lot of people have to kind of ignore and neglect those areas that are especially difficult for them. So mine was biology. I don't know why, but out of any other section, biology was just tough. And I, it made me not want to spend time on it because I kept getting questions wrong. And no matter what I did, I just felt like I wasn't improving. 
So instead of focusing even more energy and effort on that section to bring it up, I would go study PAT or QR, which I already knew that I, that I was kind of good at. And so if I could go back, I wish I could um, focus on those areas that were not as good as the other ones. Okay guys, the last thing that I wanna to talk to you about are all the resources that I actually used while I was studying. And there are four things that I spent money on and I think it was totally worth it. And if I could go back, I would do the same exact thing. So the first one is AP Biology Cliff Notes, and it doesn't matter what uh, what edition that you get. I think I used the third edition, but now they're all the way up to the fifth. The second one that I used are the destroyer materials. So there's a DAT destroyer and a MAP destroyer. Those are by far the most important uh, books that you can get. I think that alone raised my scores at least two or three points. The third thing is DAT Bootcamp, and it's a website that was created by someone, by a current dental student at Columbia right now, I think, and he, it, he makes awesome, awesome material. There are a ton of practice tests you can take, and for PAT, there is no better practice than DAT Bootcamp. If you do spend an hour on his website, Every single day, you will at least get a 23, 24 on, on the PAT. I think it's really, really awesome. The last one is Chad's videos. Uh, I think you have to go through a website called Course Saver, but he goes and breaks down so many of the complicated um, subjects in like OCHEM or QR and just makes it so simple. And he's actually pretty funny and entertaining to watch. Okay, guys, so those are all the tips that I have for you. Don't worry if you feel down or discouraged or overwhelmed. I think everyone that has taken this test and that will take this test will feel that at some point. So just keep going and you guys are going to do great. I'll see you in the next one.